Hello, welcome to PC Jack. There may be another GPU on the way very soon. The question is, do we even care anymore? So, over the last few days, reports have started to trickle in about Nvidia supposedly working on a RTX 3090 Ti. This comes after Zotac's overclocking software Firestorm listed a RTX 3090 Ti alongside the long-rumoured RTX 3080 Ti and the 3070 Ti. Now this could be an error on Zotac's part, but it's still a possibility that Nvidia could be working on trying to squeeze a little bit extra performance out of the RTX 3090's GA102 die. But looking at the negligible performance increase that the RTX 3090 already has over the RTX 3080 with a hefty price hike, I can only imagine how overpriced a TI model of this card could actually be. Now if Nvidia were to actually target these high-end graphics cards at the uh, professional market rather than as gamers, then uh, maybe I could see a bit more benefit to it, especially with its higher memory capacity. But after the whole 8K game debacle, I don't expect that Nvidia will be going down that route anytime soon, considering, especially, a lot of people seem to forget when the RTX 3090 is compared to previous generations, it should be looked at as a successor to the Titan lineup. Now, I'm not going to tell you that you shouldn't buy the 3090, but given the huge price tag already, especially when it comes to AIB models, I struggle to be excited about the prospect of another extremely decadent card which value is lost on the average user. None of this really matters anyway unless gamers or professional users can even get their hands on them in the first place, which has been a huge struggle over the last few months which everyone knows by now. But with the announcement of Nvidia's new LHR series of the Ampere lineup, which is effectively a low hash rate limiter across all the RTX 3000 series SKUs, much like what happened with the RTX 3060. But rather than being enforced through the driver, it's now at a silicone level, making it even less incentivizing for miners. This could improve the situation, but you can't forget that Ethereum is not the only cryptocurrency that is mined with graphics cards. So this is still only part of the issue as well as the scalper market, which has already been a huge pain for a lot of people. But besides Ethereum dropping off slightly over the last few weeks, as well as Bitcoin, it could mean that patient gamers are going to be able to finally see some light at the end of the tunnel. Now, I'm not very well informed on crypto, so I may not be the best person to uh, advise on the current crypto market, but this dip could change in the next few weeks, in the next few days, and it could go back up in value again. We'll just have to wait and see. So, we'll have to see how these reports fare over the next few weeks and uh, see if an RTX 3090 Ti does actually show up on the radar. So, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, then please feel free to like and subscribe for more videos on the way soon. Thank you. See you next time.